You probably look at your lock screen and home screen a couple of times a day and just having the right wallpaper can make your phone look really good, not boring and sometimes set you in the right mood too. And having an app that specifically provides wallpapers for the S21 series phones and its punch out hole at the top, Ultrapix is the app to download. On my phone, I like to have a dedicated space for all my controls, which obviously I can customize and a dedicated space for all the notifications color coded using the app icon. The control center is fully customizable right from the layout to the colors to which settings you want to see and you don't want to see, including the music player and the brightness control. It's called MI control center and it's super customizable as per your preferences. You can define the layouts, the shapes of the control center icons. You can even change colors all the way. You can have a light theme or a dark theme and you can decide what the background should be. And guys, before we move on, I'm trying to reach 300,000 subscribers and you hitting that subscribe button and that bell notification icon can really help me get there quickly. So it'll mean a lot to me if you could do that. And now let's move on. Did you know that you can install additional edge panels that actually work for you and make you more productive? I, for example, have, let's say, a calculator panel so I can perform calculations on the fly without hunting for the app. Another one that I use is direct call. So just with one swipe and one tap, I can directly call a friend that I call often. And a calendar panel, because, you know, sometimes I just want to be able to look at the calendar real quick to count days or check weekends. So go into your display settings, go into edge panels and then into panels. And of course, your phone comes with a couple of them pre-installed, but hit the Galaxy store and install all the ones that I talked about and search for more that you think will actually work for you. Goodlock is almost an essential customization app for your S21 series phone. For example, it allows you to configure your lock screen layout in a way that gives you easy access to music widgets and even to some app shortcuts that you use very often. You can decide how you want your recent apps to show up in different styles, as you can see right here. You can really customize and fancy up your keyboard. Just look at how it looks. And you can actually do a lot more and the more time you spend with it, the more you get good at understanding how much you can customize. You can get this on the Galaxy Store only and I have the link in the description below. It may not be available in your region, but definitely something to check out. Now, I bet your S21 series phone cannot display your notifications like this when your phone is locked. Now, this app that I'm going to talk about allows you to preview your notifications and its contents at a glance without picking up your phone or touching it or unlocking it. It's called AOD Notify and it does just that. Within the app settings, you can configure your notification colors to mimic that of the app icon. So your notifications are all color coded. You can configure what information to show when a notification comes in. You can customize the layout of that notification in terms of size and visibility, what elements to show, what not to show, all of that. And you can decide how long the notification should display on your locked screen. Now, the notification settings that I keep is go into notifications, then app and select all because, you know, it might be unselected at first. Then go back and click on notification light, go into style and make sure that it's disabled for screen is on and camera edge for when screen is off. You can try other ones as well. Then go into always on display and make sure it's set to show always. I prefer it that way and it just doesn't conflict with the functionality and make sure wake screen is turned off and then you'll get this display every time you get a notification from a specific app. And lastly, if you like how I have set up my home screen here like this or maybe like that, you need to get Nova Launcher and KWGT widgets along with the Pro version to get it happening. The S21 phones have an amazing display and beautiful setups can look even better on these phones. The right wallpaper with the right icons and beautiful widgets can make a lot of difference and make your phone look fresh. I've done a full tutorial video explaining how to use Nova and KWGT, so definitely check that out, links in the description. And that's it guys, those were some apps that I thought can really help you make the most out of your S21, S21 Plus or the S21 Ultra. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. I'll see you guys in the next one.